So, you've got an interview, and you're feeling really good about it. You feel prepared, you feel confident, you know the stories you're going to tell, and overall you know you're just going to kill it. There's only one question you don't know how to answer, and that's the one about why are you leaving your current employer, or why did you leave your most recent employer? And the problem is that you were in a toxic environment. Maybe you had a bad boss, or maybe it was just a bad or dysfunctional company, but it was the best thing for you to leave. So now, how are you going to explain that to a potential employer? Hi, I'm Tammy Cabell with Career Resume Consulting, and today I'm going to help you answer the question about why you left your last employer or why you're wanting to leave your current employer. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that I am all about you remaining authentic and true to yourself. Because it's only when you answer every question authentically that you're going to attract an employer that is looking to hire somebody like you. And this makes for a great fit when you actually get the job. You never want to try to fit your square peg into a company's round hole and end up in a position where you're just not in a good fit and you're looking for something else. However, today I'm going to stray a little bit from my advice that keeps you authentic, and I'm going to explain why in a minute. And yes, I'm going to ask you to spin your circumstances, no matter how dysfunctional or toxic an environment you may have been in. And in fact, even if you aren't in a dysfunctional environment right now, the advice I'm going to share with you today is probably still worth watching. And as always, I'm going to get into the psychology behind the advice. But before I get started, I just want to give you a quick reminder that if you've enjoyed any of my advice in the past and you're watching this on YouTube, I'd love for you to take a moment to hit the like button and the bell and subscribe uh, so that you're always the first to learn about the advice that I give. And it also helps YouTube understand that this is good content and that it's worth sharing. So, you know, it's always been my mission to help as many people as possible get their perfect job and get paid what they're worth. But I can't reach the masses without your help. So thank you in advance. All right, so let's get started with the psychological aspects of the question about why you're leaving your last employer or uh, why you're leaving your current employer and why I'm going to give you some very specific advice on how to answer this question. Keep in mind, the person that's sitting across the desk from you or the person you're on the phone with interviewing you doesn't know you in the least. And during the interview, they're spending most of their time judging you in all sorts of ways, including your character. They're trying to figure out if you're honest, if you have a positive attitude, if you would get along well with the team that you're going to be joining, and a lot of other behavioral aspects to employment. In fact, when tens of thousands of hiring managers were asked recently what the number one reason was for a successful hire, they answered that the person was a great cultural fit with the company and the team. So this should tell you a lot about what the most important thing is to a hiring manager or a decision maker, and that includes gatekeepers like recruiters and human resources. And I've seen plenty of clients get their next role based upon a great attitude and not necessarily their relevant experience. And remember, you're hired not because you're the most competent, there's plenty of competent people for every job, but because you're the most relevant and the most likable candidate that they have. In fact, if you had no competition and you were still competent, if you weren't relevant to the problems that they need to solve and where they'd like to take the company in the future, and if you weren't a likable person, they're just not going to hire you. And when it comes to answering the question about why did you leave your last employer or why do you want to leave your current employer, they're still trying to figure out if they like you and, they'd, and you would get along with the team that you'd be entering. So if you were actually going to tell them what was going on in your dysfunctional company, uh, and possibly even that there's a personality conflict with your bad boss, they would immediately wonder if the boss was a problem or you were the problem. And since they don't know you and they don't know your character, if there's any kind of personality conflict, they aren't ready to take your word for it because you haven't had a chance to build your reputation with them yet. And even though the number one reason for people leaving a company is a bad boss, 
You never want to tell an interviewer that it's because of the horrible way that the team was being ran or how immature your boss is or how toxic the entire company culture is and why you have to escape. In other words, you don't want to say anything negative about your boss, your team, your company at all. Uh, no matter how painful it was or is to go to work every day. So then, how do you tiptoe around a bad situation when you're talking with an interviewer? Well, the first thing you have to understand is that you want to get across that you're running toward their company and not running away from your current company. So you want to be very enthusiastic throughout the entire interview about the potential role and the company itself. And if you have any information about the hiring manager or the person that would be your boss, you definitely want to throw some good words toward that person as well. Just remember that if you're going to flatter the person that would be your boss, that flattery has to be very specific and not general. It's true that flattery is going to get you everywhere, but it has to be very specific. So now let me give you the step-by-step -step answer to why are you leaving your current company or why did you leave your last employer? First, you want to bring out the good things about your employer or maybe the last employer or the current employer. And just like any flattery, it has to be specific. In other words, instead of saying, oh, it's a great place to work and I love everybody in it, you want to say that maybe your current company has a lot of advantages, the benefits are great, the management team really knows what they're doing, if they are, if they do. And I've been very successful at my job and it's because I really love the duties that I'm performing there. And then, secondly, you're going to transition into why you want to leave. Most likely, the best answer is around future opportunities and a long-term career path, because not only is that a positive answer, but it also conveys that you want to stay with this new employer for a long time. And this is especially important if you have a short tenure at your most recent employer. So you, the second part of your answer, you would say something like, and even though I've enjoyed my tenure at XYZ Company, I feel somewhat stagnated in my current role and I don't really see a long-term career path for me there. I'm someone who always wants to learn and always wants to grow and I don't feel like my growth potential can be realized at my current company. And that's why I'm really excited about your organization. I can see myself loving this role and also taking on more responsibilities, larger responsibilities in the future. And then third and finally, I would take the answer, I'd end the answer with a positive question to wrap it up in a nice little bow of positivity. And that question could be something like, so where do you see the future of the division going? Do you feel that this business area is going to grow or is it positioned for growth in the next year? What are the company's long-term plans to remain sustainable and what areas of the company are growing the most? And if you're looking for a higher level position, you might even ask a more sophisticated question like, is the growth planning to be more on the organic side or is the executive team looking at acquisitions as well? So to summarize, think of the answer in three parts, with the first part being any tiny positive aspect of the role and the company, followed by a positive reason why you're looking forward to the new company rather than bashing the old company, and then finally ending the answer with a very positive question to make sure the interviewer is feeling very positive about your answer. And remember, if you show the least bit of negativity, even if your boss is a complete troll and the working environment is just a cesspool, you can't mention any of that because they don't know if you're the bad apple and if there's the slightest chance that you are, then they don't want to bring you on board because most companies are looking to stay away from personal drama. And if they have any sense that you've got personal drama in your life, they'll run as fast as they can away from you. So it's vitally important that you keep personalities out of your answer completely. Don't even think about bringing personalities into any aspect of your answer. Well, I hope this has served you today. Please share the video with anybody else that you know that could use some help in their interviewing. And of course, like this video and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. And I wouldn't want you to miss anything. So uh, as we build up to the first of the year, I'm going to be posting content more often to get us ready for January and February, which are always the top two hiring months of the year. And if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll answer them as quickly as I possibly can given my schedule. 
And if you're in an active hiring or in an active job search, or if you're thinking about options outside your current company, I invite you to set up some time on our calendar by clicking on the link in the description. If you'd like to explore uh, my firm partnering with you in your search for a six-figure or a seven-figure position, we would welcome a quick phone call with you to talk about your options. So until I see you again, have a great rest of your week, and I look forward to hearing about your success. Bye now.